द वे फॉरवर्ड इज थोड़ा बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह न्यूयॉर्क विच इसलिए न्यूयॉर्क सिटी काउंसिल की इलेक्शन चल रही हैं ट्वेंटी सैकेंड जून में प्राइमरीज है अर्ली वोटिंग ऑलरेडी शुरू हो गई है असी जिमें पहले भी थोड़े तो सामने डिफरेंट कैंडीडेट्स में लैके आए हाँ थोड़े तो नूबरू कराते हाँ अज जो कैंडीडेट साढ़े नाल है वो है रूबेन वेल्स रूबेन यू आर वेरी वेलकम टू द शो Uh, yes thank you very much Ruben thanks for uh taking out the time to speak with us you know mm -hmm. uh, at this uh, fag uh, end of the campaign we can understand yes. how busy you are right now yes. you know i must uh, tell our viewers ki jede ruben and o uh, is district which nave ni hage ruben district 28 which city council laste ladren inane pehle vi is jede uh, city council di seat hai is nu hold kita hai or ek uh, it's an amazing story it's an amazing story of come back yeah. it's an uh, you know amazing story of fighting back ruben sanu whole details dasange ruben before we go into the details of you know all this false victimization and mm. your come back mm. uh, you know i would like you to tell us something about yourself you know to our viewers g g tell us something about your uh, background Okay so uh uh as uh, Arjo said I am Ruben Wills and I am the former council member for district 28 I was raised born and raised in South Jamaica Queens um have lived in Jamaica Queens and St Albans Queens my entire life um was honored and privileged to be elected to the city council in 2010 and served until 2017 Uh, my district encompasses Richmond Hill, South Ozone Park, mm -hmm. Jamaica, Rochdale, Baisley, South Jamaica houses. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a huge Indian community in yes. those areas, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, Ruben, uh, uh, I, I would like you to share your story. We we in the story we have seen this victimization. Mm -hmm. We see a criminal conviction mm -hmm. for which you go to jail, right, and then. which is uh, you know turned over right right, right. we uh, see uh, you being accused of uh, uh, drug abuse and yeah. then we learn that that test yes. was faulty yes can you tell us uh, those details please you know i think you're the very first person that brought up the second portion of the story mm -hmm. i really appreciate that sure. uh, so um in 2017 i was uh tried and convicted uh by now disgraced attorney general Eric Schneiderman. Uh they put me on trial for accusations of me taking money from a not for profit that I ran in campaign finance which I was convicted from 2 to 6 years in prison. Now I was ripped robbed from my community and ripped from my family for 2 years. I went up state. I did not go to a federal club uh penitentiary that people see in the movies and you have tennis courts and I went to some of the roughest state prisons in New York state. Sing Sing, Marcy, Downstate, Wallkill. Mm -hmm. Um the whole time being innocent, mind you, right? Um come back home uh when I was incarcerated because of the neglect of medical care that they gave me and operations that I had prior to being incarcerated. I wasn't handled the correct way and I was put in a wheelchair for 8 months. Hmm. I could not walk, had no hopes of being able to walk. New York State denied me medical attention as did New York City Corrections. Mm -hmm. Um it was through the uh benevolence if you would believe of other inmates where they actually brought me into the gym and helped me gave me physical therapy and helped me work out um because you know when you go up stage you get fit guys lift weights so they understood it mm -hmm. and they allowed they helped me and I worked out um came home on a work release program mm -hmm. a program that is a privileged program few people get started to unite again with my family and once that happened I was then reincarcerated and sent back up state for an additional 6 months for a false drug charge. Mm -hmm. Now what they said was is that I used I had drugs in my system when they gave us a urinalysis. Mm -hmm. Fought it, appealed it, was released in August of 2019 and in September, October, November of 2019, we found out that every machine in the entire system and this entire New York state doc system was faulty. Mm 
Mm. So I had been telling the truth the whole time, right? Mm -hmm. But people tend not to believe lightning striking in the same place. People tend to believe that, hey, you were convicted, you said you were innocent, and then you were convicted again for something, you're innocent again, who's going to believe that? Mm -hmm. But it came out to be true. Mm -hmm. um, right now, there's a class action lawsuit um, against the, and Docs has admitted this, that the machines were no good. Docs is Department of Corrections. And now they are suing Microgenics, mm -hmm. the manufacturer of the machines, um, because they knew that the fo machines were faulty when they gave it in. Um, the lawsuit that we filed, aside of the class action because of my profile, um, Actually, Microgenics went to put it under seal because of evidence that we found mm -hmm. to show the things that we're saying is true. Mm -hmm. So that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. But I really appreciate you asking about that because people don't quite understand how that could happen and it, it was true, it did happen twice. No, we, we must tell our viewers that you helped not only just yourself, yes. but, but several other uh, people who were accused of uh, drug abuse because of those faulty uh, tests. And I'm, yes. uh, Ruben, uh, it, it, it seems like an uh, extraordinary story of victimization, hmm. like where uh, you're accused, you're convicted, and then later you get vindicated because right. and that gets overturned. And we understand when you were at the city council, mm -hmm. there were some extraordinary things that you were uh, taking up at that time against the system. Can, will you talk a little about those? Well, um, one of the things that we did and I was super proud of, and I will give credit to who who should get credit, to Jemani Williams, our public advocate, mm -hmm. and Brad Lander, who is a council member and now running for comptroller. Mm -hmm. uh, they were the ones who actually spearheaded the Community Safety Act, which was the end of unconstitutional stop, question, and frisk in New York City. Mm -hmm. And I was able to fight that fight with them and I passed, I was the 34th vote to make sure that Bloomberg could not veto or override our legislative act. Mm -hmm. So that stopped hundreds of thousands of, of young people of color mm -hmm. on the streets being pulled over, um, sometimes with probable cause, but the majority of the times it was racism. Mm -hmm. And that stopped them from doing that because that led these young people to having uh, connections or a direct interaction with the criminal justice system where then they will be victimized because now they may have had a record or something that they they weren't supposed to have right mm -hmm. and then now their job record is messed up and think they lose jobs a lot of people get deported because of things like this which people don't quite understand mm -hmm. so my story doesn't just speak to um, a, a, a one specific demographic. My story is a story of victimization, racial, racial animus, and then victory um, to almost everybody in New York City because there are a lot of people right now, even with the drug story, mm -hmm. a lot of people were facing deportation because of that. You know, they were fighting uh, charges, and then when they had these false drug charges put on them, they couldn't see their families. Mm -hmm. um, their family visits were gone, and some people were getting deported. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, Reuben Wells is an extraordinary public servant, mm -hmm. and that, that feeling of uh, you know, the public service, I understand uh, there were some extraordinary uh, things you did when it came to homelessness. Right? Yes, you yes. went and experienced that yourself. Yes. We would like you to share that story with our viewers. So, um, me and my team got together and instead of always fighting and fighting uh, homeless shelters being placed in certain communities, we wanted to understand the reasons for homelessness. Uh, so we decided that I would, in the middle of the winter, take three days and go homeless. Um, in those three days, I went. I had to walk or try to get on the train um, to pump. I had to pump gas to get money to get on the trains. Slept at the Staten Island Ferry. Um, went from food pantry to food pantry just to experience it. I couldn't say that I understood the full experience of being homeless, but during that time I actually went, had to get admitted into the hospital. And, and when was this? Which year was this? Um, this was, I believe, 20, I want to say 2013, 2014. And uh, you, were, uh, you were serving at the city council? Yes, I was in the city council at that time. Suffered with a 104 degree fever, caught pneumonia, and had to be placed in the hospital behind it. Asi Changi ki sade viewers is Gallu closely samjan ki as a member of the city council, Ruben Williams decided kita, he lived. 
lived uh, you know as a homeless person for three days mm -hmm. gas uh, in a gas station they pump kitty बीमार हो गए इन्हों नमूनिया हो गया मैडिकल ट्रीटमेंट देनी पी बट फस्ट हैंड उस एक्सपीरियंस न समझने वास्ते दैट्स समथिंग यू नो ही डेड आई थिंक दैट इज एक्सट्रॉडनरी एंड यू डिजर्व सम क्रेडिट फॉर दैट इट्स जस्ट बीन अ गुड ह्यूमन राइट वी ऑल हैव टू बी फेयर टू आवर ब्रदर्स एंड इफ समबडी हैज मोर देन आई थिंक दैट वी शुड नॉट जस्ट Except that we have more, but we should do more to make sure that those who have less are fortunate. Yeah, also. And, and, and you know, uh, to be a public servant, uh, to do the right thing, you have to understand the problem. You yes. have to, you know, know how to find uh, yes. solutions to the problem. Yes. But to find solutions, you first have to understand the problem Absolutely. firsthand. Absolutely. Uh, Ruben, we will come back after a short break and ask you what's your plan for your district. To see Victor, the way forward. द वे फॉरवर्ड इज थोड़ा फिर तो स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह अज असी गल कर रहे हैं न्यूयॉर्क सिटी काउंसिल डिस्ट्रिक्ट ट्वेंटी एट के कैंडीडेट रूबेन विल्स एन आल सो सर रूबेन वी आर वेरी प्लीज टू लर्न अबाउट योर बैकग्राउंड ना कैन यू टेल एस वॉट डू यू थिंक आर द टॉप इशूज फेसिंग द डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन दिस इलेक्शन इन एक्वरी सिंपल इज दैट We have uh, inequity that has been uh, pushed upon the district because of what I believe is uh, systemic racism because of the residents of our district. Mm -hmm. um, our district is made up of largely African American, South Asian, and Caribbean residents. Mm -hmm. um, and there have just been things through policies, legislation, and rules that have made sure that we don't get a fair share of what we're supposed to have, right? Um, so education, there are a lot of inequities in education that as a council member we fought, we made sure that we brought home uh, the highest amount in the city period for education just for technology. Hmm. So we wanted to make sure with our classroom without walls initiative where we digitized um, with interconnectivity every school in the district so that a kid in Richmond Hill could jump on uh, uh, the screen with the smart boards that we provided with a child in uh, August Martin High School, right? And what would happen is they would be able to see each other, do incredible things, uh, talent shows, debates. Um, then from there, it became an electronic passport where our kids can actually be part of virtual safaris. Um, they can pipe into uh, children from another culture another country so that they can say hey the guy next to me is from here you're from Guyana you're from Trinidad you're from India you're from whatever whatever you're from we're now communicating with people from that country in real time mm -hmm. so it's like an electronic passport mm -hmm. then we would actually be able to close the digital divide making sure our kids understood the technology and they had the technology to move forward but at the same time we can appreciate and celebrate each other's cultures mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. because we all live together we're all interconnected and we all suffer from the same inequity we all suffer from uh, lack of transportation, mm -hmm. public transportation, food deserts, uh, school system, infrastructure. Uh, just, just it, it goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. So I think the largest challenge to my district and districts like mine is inequity in almost everything that we look at on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruben, if, if I ask you, you know, uh, lots of our viewers uh, mm -hmm. uh, are involved in the taxi business. Taxi, yes. And they have had um, a, a rough deal in, mm -hmm. in the past some time right. uh, because of, uh, you, know, you, mm -hmm. you, you know, the issues. You please tell me, we have uh, heard of the driver plan. Yes. What is what is the driver plan? What do you want plan to do for this community? The dri oh well, my driver plan is several phases, um, mm -hmm. and one of them is the New York Taxi Workers Alliance plan for debt relief. And that's for individual medallion owners. Mm -hmm. um, as you've seen in the last few years, we've had a high incidence of suicides. Mm -hmm. um, and that's because the city has done harm to the medallion taxi cab industry, mm -hmm. right? Uh, when I was in the city council, I fought against Mayor Bloomberg's plan to put more medallions for sale on the market that have ever been done before, mm -hmm. which saturated it and diluted the value of the medallion. Mm -hmm. So where there were people who were hardworking, put all their investment into a medallion, and the medallions might have been worth a few hundred thousand dollars, and they were able to use them for a mortgage on a home, right? The American dream, use it to secure their children's education. Mm -hmm. Now they were worth almost nothing. Mm 
Mm. That's that's direct harm. The city is responsible for that. So I've endorsed that plan, and I will work with that plan to make sure we deal with that. Mm -hmm. um, the taxi commission, mm. nine member commission, as you know, you're yeah. you're 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 an accomplished attorney. So uh, you're you're a voice and an advocate. What I would do is um, that nine member commission is set up between the mayor and the speaker of the city council, which means he had to answer to the body. Mm -hmm. Five people, from one from each borough, is supposed to be on that. Mm -hmm. What I would do is make sure that someone from Richmond Hill or South Ozone Park, a leading organizer, a driver, would have representation as a commissioner on that board. Mm -hmm. And then we would set up a round table. Mm -hmm. We would get uh, advocates throughout the community, and we would have, or throughout the, the Queensboro, because the other elected officials would go along with it. Mm -hmm. We would have a round table. I think we would set it up now where it would be every two months for the first six months, and then after that, we would do it every three months, every quarter. Mm -hmm. um, and we would do it simultaneously with um, English and whatever are the majority requested languages in translation. Mm -hmm. And then we would put forth a fan moving forward um, to make sure that we all benefited from it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's a major issue concerning the community. Yes. And I'm sure your previous experience uh, with the city council will come in handy as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, you have a lot of uh, uh, Indians, particularly Punjabi community yes. uh, in, in your district. Mm -hmm. Have have you been able to reach out to that community? Yes, um, I've always had a, I've always enjoyed a great relationship. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of leaders that are with us in the community. Um, and we're going to move that forward. Those relationships were interrupted when um, I was wrongly convicted mm -hmm. um, for those two years. And as soon as I came back and when they heard I was home, even though I was not reaching out, they were reaching out to me. Mm -hmm. um, the community has always stood with us and we've always stood with the community. Um, after 9-11, we stood with the community. Um, and more recently in 2012 and 2014, when we had attacks on persons from that community, we stood there and said we wouldn't tolerate it. Mm -hmm. We're not going to tolerate any person in my community being attacked at all. I don't care if they're Punjabi, I don't care if they're uh, if they speak English, I don't care if they speak Spanish, I don't whatever I don't care where you're from or what you speak, we're all united in one cause and that is to way forward, right? The way forward and with our, our community make sure we're safe. Uh, sure. Uh, Ruben, uh, to, to be specific, yes. wh wh what do you think uh, are the major concerns or what are your major plans for this particular uh, community? You know, uh, mm -hmm. the, the issues, uh, you know, this, uh, the community still uh, feels left out. You know, the community yeah. does not have a, you know, a decent uh, community center for uh, elders, right. things like that. What do you think are the issues which particularly concern the Punjabi community? I wanted to do an intergenerational um, community center, mm -hmm. and I think that that would be uh, best suited in the Richmond Hill section of our district, mm -hmm. um, not just because that's where the, ma the majority of the population would be, Richmond Hill and South Ozone Park, but I believe it because you want to place it where the older participants of that center who would enjoy the services, it's easier for them to get to, right? Mm -hmm. And then we wanted to do that and combine that, this is where the intergenerational comes in. We want to combine that with the schools. Mm -hmm. So when they go to schools, because now you'll be going to schools for 3K, Mm -hmm. Right? Before it was just 4K. Mm -hmm. So you're in school for daycare, and when we get subsidized daycare, 3K, 4K, we want to make sure that when the elders are in the senior centers, we can have something where they can all enjoy each other. Not just on the weekdays, but on the weekends also. They should be able to come and enjoy their culture. They should be able to come enjoy each other in anything they want. Dance, music, faith, anything. <laughs> Uh, and you want to know the prices for it? You want to uh, like an actual breakdown of finances? We have, we've done the research on these things. Sure, <laughs> and, and, and we'll do a special episode of that. Okay, great. Uh, you know, uh, if, if I ask you, if I ask you to uh, list three goals mm -hmm. that you uh, plan to achieve if you're elected, mm -hmm. what would be those three goals? To make sure, first, uh, there is a district cut so that uh, and when I say district cut, I mean that we have new boundaries set because of the census. Mm -hmm. uh, there are 51 council members now. Mm -hmm. And I was just explaining maybe an hour ago that I believe in Queens, especially because I was the council member that presided over the last uh, district. Um, there's a uh, scale, and on that scale there's a, a 
deviation of five to seven percent of the population allowed. Mm -hmm. So it's something like 160,000, and we're something like 170 something thousand, but we know we're closer to 240,000. Mm -hmm. So there's no way in the last 10 years that the population at the rate it was growing then and it, it exploded in 2015, there's no way that we don't have enough now to cut a separate district. Mm -hmm. And I think that that district should be cut so that this population can have its own representation because that is important. It is important for anybody who is young to come up and see someone who looks just like them holding a seat. Seeing Reuben Wills is cool, right? Because I'm going to make sure that fairness is for everyone. Mm -hmm. But seeing someone who looks like you, practices your faith, speaks the language that you speak, has the cultural background that you speak is important because it lets me know that I can do anything. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that a separate district is cut. I made that promise, and if I'm reelected, I will make sure that that happens. Um, second thing that we want to do in that district, aside from the community center, because I believe that this community center should be done in three parts of the district, mm -hmm. but setting specifically for that district, as I believe that uh, uh, some of the parks should be um, made to represent more of the activities from th those communities, right? Mm. Um, so, I don't know if you heard of a sport called cricket. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that would be facetious, right? <laughs> um, so we made sure that we had a couple of cricket fields already. Sure. But I think that Smoky Oval Field mm -hmm. can be made into an incredible portion of it can be made into an incredible cricket field, mm -hmm. and that we should have sports in the schools, which is a bill that I passed to make sure that those types of sports are supported in the schools. Mm -hmm. uh, economic development for businesses. Mm -hmm. um, we should have not just loans, but we should have grants that are targeted for specific business owners because those small business owners are our economic engine. Mm -hmm. If you go up and down Liberty Avenue, it would be a perfect, or 101st Avenue, right? Perfect examples of that in my community. Yeah. But there's so much more, so much more of a robust community that we can have explode if we, pres we, we provided grants um, so that they would be able to do what they needed to do and become small business owners. Do, do, do you have uh, anything particular in mind uh, in light of the the way COVID has hit small businesses? Yes. Um, so we are we are everybody knows about PPP. Mm -hmm. um, everybody knows about the small business grants. Mm -hmm. But what people don't realize is there are programs that we can take advantage of as a community. Um, there was a program, I believe it was the EB5 program, yeah. and that was when people overseas can come and get visas, mm -hmm. and they would pay five hundred thousand dollars into a business. Yeah. Most of the time, it was into a hotel. It just had to be a business that created, I believe, 10 jobs. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 jobs. And then they would be granted a visa, and then they would be paid back. Um, it did't have to be high interest. But that money, now uh, President Tr Donald Trump, when he was in, changed it. Mm -hmm. But that money can still be brought in and be used um, to help businesses that were suffering from COVID, mm -hmm. um, not just help them uh, with the business part, but can help them the same way we want to do a 10 cents, it ties into each other, a 10 cent surcharge on app calls for taxis and, and, and app-based um, calls mm -hmm. for a, a health and benefits fund. Mm -hmm. We can use that money to do the same thing for mm -hmm. businesses that suffered from COVID. People who actually got sick, they should have that fund also. Uh, Ruben, we are running out of time. Okay. You know, <laughs> There's one more uh, goal to be listed. We've yes. talked about two. I would ask you to quickly tell us about that goal and then then I would like uh, to hear in your words, what is it that differentiates you from all other candidates uh, in this race? Why should we pick Ruben Wells? You said there's one more goal? You said uh, I asked three goals that we have discussed, two, I, I believe. No, I spoke about uh, the centers and the schools. Mm -hmm. I spoke about the economic development. Mm -hmm. And I did speak about something else. Oh, well, okay, I got five, six, seven, so it's not a problem. Okay, uh, so with, right. with, the, with the limited time we have, <laughs> okay. let's go to the question, Okay. what differentiates Rupert Wills from the rest of the candidates? Uh, number one, experience, hmm. right? Yes. Um, I've served for seven and a half years in the city council. Uh, no one else who is saying that um, can say that they served for that amount of time. And it's not just about serving, but we were particularly and specifically um, successful with uniting our communities. Um, so you won't find me trying to make one community feel like they're more important than the other community because we're all together. Mm -hmm. um, integrity. Uh, I not only said I was innocent, 
Mm -hmm. when I was indicted on the courthouse steps. I fought for my innocence the entire time when I was incarcerated, and I was proven innocent afterwards. Mm -hmm. Because where some people are just reading that I got a reversal, you know it, but many of the other people might not know that it was fully dismissed by the state Supreme Court judge, and she said that I should be restored back to my good standing in the community as if there was no arrest, indictment, or prosecution. Mm -hmm. The only thing that she couldn't restore me back to was elected office. The people would have to do that, and I think that that separates me from anyone else because I have the real life experiences. Uh, homelessness, I have the real life experiences of this um, wrongful incarceration, I have the real life experience of being a small business owner mm -hmm. and making sure that I knew what it was to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and pay payroll tax and make sure that I paid the people in my who worked for me and my employee before I took payment myself. Mm -hmm. Being a family man, being a man of faith, I have all of these things, um, thank God, that distinguishes me as a package from anyone else running in this race. A Sansade candidate, Ruben Wells. Ruben Wells, the bade deep roots hege community which to see sare in anu jandeo. Uh, in an appellate survey, kita in an experience hega besides jede kafi experiences jede in an at the har kisam de but he closely a e, uh, community nu samaj den. Uh, I hope to see in adi sarikala closely suni hunia in adi jedi uh, conviction segi usnu overturn kita gaya pele in upper kuch ilzam lagaye gaye drugs nu related jo in an proof kita ki o test he faulty siga. Hun, I think it will be time when the community will come forward and you will stand vindicated. Yes, uh, I, I, I really appreciate it. I mean, so many calls came through. So many people prayed and sent me cards. Um, so when I was vindicated, it was the culmination of all of that. Ruben, thank you very much for taking all the time thank you. speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Singh. To see Vegdero, the way forward. The way forward is Toda Firtu Swagata, Ma Toda host Harjot Singh. Kuch Haftea Pella, Long Island, New York, which ik young Tera Sal de Sik Munde Nal ik hate crime vapre. Long Island, which New York, which Sikhandi population kafi hagi hai. Fir vi e bade afsos di gal hai ki iddan de jede incidents an o koi past di gal nahi koi history di gal nahi halle vi ho rin aaj assi studio vich invite kita hai us bahadur ladke chasbir singh nu aur unna de father sadbir singh ji nu is issue bare gal karan waste chas sadbir you are both very welcome to the uh, studios thanks for taking all the time to speaking with us Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Chaz, first of all, I am very sorry that you had to go through this. Uh, how, how do you feel? Are you okay now? Um, it's been a lot of pressure from everything that's been happening. Um, I feel like this can happen to other people. It can happen to me. It can happen to any minority group. Mm -hmm. It can happen to my friends at school. It can happen to my brother when he grows up. You know, Chaz, uh, the, the particular concern is this, you know, we, uh, we have had our people immigrate to th this country some time back. You know, we have had incidents 100 years back where Sikhs were uh, attacked because of their identity in, let's say, in Seattle, right, uh, in the forests of uh, Washington. Then we have had our fathers see this thing. We have say, seen our generation see th this thing. And now kids like you who are born in this country have to face something like that. I, I would like to ask you, how, how does that make you feel? That makes me feel isolated in the fact that when we learned about 9-11 in school, mm -hmm. everyone had the same reaction. We were like, how could this happen? And then they show the picture of Osama bin Laden with a turban on, kind of a turban, like, yeah, he has that on. And then first time we saw that in sixth grade, I remember whole class looked at me immediately. Hmm. That, that first of all, I was like, because I knew that I was a sick at that time, mm -hmm. and I knew that there was differences between me and others, and I was thinking to myself for the rest of that day, why did they all look at me? 
<laughs> you know, that, that, that's a uh, very interesting perspective, and you know, that's, that's a reality that we have to uh, live with. Uh, so, BG, you, uh, you know, we imagine ki idan di cheeza hundi at far flung areas you know jithe jithe inni zyada logan awareness ni hundi locals know uh you come from a area uh, you know where there's a lot of community and you come from a very prominent family Thank you come from a very successful business family you have deep roots in the community not just within the sikh community but a very uh, you know a broad involvement in the in the community uh, at large besides you are director of minority affairs uh, for the town of Oyster Bay. Yes, yes. Sir. So for somebody like you okay. to see in chiza no study kar deo, dujan video par gyan den deo, or jad to see vek deo ki tode kari chhe chiz hondi hai, toh nu kaisa lagda? Dekho ji, pehla jado me sunaya ke mude na gal ki thi, kanda dad tanu pata hai ki hoya mere naal me kya nee manu das. तो जो उन्होंने मैं दसिया मैं पहला तो राइड वे पुछया मैं क्या क्योंकि असं तो एजुकेट करते हैं लोगों को कि जो तो हेट क्राइम हो कि गल करनी चाहिए कि यू नो इन टच होना चाहिए तो हाउ यू शुड प्रोसीड सो असी हर वेले हर हफ्ते असी थोड़े पुलिस कमिश्नर नाल कम्यूनिटी के लीडर नाल इलैक्टिड ऑफिशल असी जूम पर मीटिंग करते रहे हैं जी तो जो सुने कि साडे ही फैमिली साडे ही मुंडे नाल होया यू नो पहली चीज़ मैं पूछी पुलिस ने कॉल की कहें नहीं मैं क्या चल वापस पहुँच अपने दोस्त के फादर को कह वापस पहुँचे वॉल विटमिन मॉल पहुँचो ते आई एम कमिंग ऑन माय वे मैं राइड वे उत्थे पहुंचे रे पुलिस ने कॉल की थी बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली मनु तो पता है की करना है पर एवरेज बंदे ने किथे पता है के किदा हैंडल करनी है सिचुएशन जी दैट इज द मोर इंपोर्टेंट थिंग टू नहीं सतबीर जी आज तानू स्टूडियो विच बुलांदा सारा जेड़ा एक मेन मकसद है आही है क्योंकि असी ए वेखया है कि तुसी इस चीज नु किने राइट तरीके नाल हैंडल कीता है बिकॉज़ ऑफ व्हिच यू नो इस नु इनी कवरेज मिली है कई लोग कम्युनिटी विच ए कहंदे नहीं जी ओ भी ते बच्चे हैगे कोई गल नहीं नजरअंदाज कर दियो उना दे पेरेंट्स ना गल कर I don't think that's the right thing to do yeah. because it's it's very important that these things come in front of us. Absolutely. And as we want to know more about you, you know, what we need to do, why we need to do, important to do. But before that, I want to share a little bit more about you. Yes. Uh, Shaz, uh, I, I know this matter is subjudice, eh, this is why the court matter is going on, so we can't do a lot of details, but please, 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 for those who might not have heard, ki, what is actually that we are talking about, please, 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 briefly, tell us, what is it that, that was said to you? Uh, so me and my friend were walking in the mall, my other Sikh friend, he's also wearing a patka, just like me, we're walking down the mall, and, these group of boys mixed like there's some uh, African American kids, there's some Caucasian kids. Um, one of the kids say, "Hey, Muhammad, come over here." So we walk up to them a little bit, and then we realize they're older than us. They don't look friendly. They look stronger than us. And my friend has been in stuff like this before. He he knows what's happened, what's happened to other people, and he's telling me, "Let's keep on walking on. Let's go." So we keep on walking forward. Um, we make we make a left turn to the other wing of the hall and we notice that they're coming in the same direction. We don't, we're not suspicious of anything. We don't think they're gonna follow us. But when we walk on further, we, my friend notices that they have phones out and they have uh, cameras and they're walking towards us. So at this point, we know that there's gonna be an encounter. So we both keep on walking. We're walking a little faster now. And one of the kids jumps up in front of me, same kid who said, hey, Muhammad, come over here. And he punches me in the left side of my face with a fist like this. Mm-hmm. And, and did you uh, leave immediately uh, uh, yes, after we, the incident? Yes, immediately we went to the gap nearby. This was Walt Whitman Mall. We took a left right into the gap. We sat in there for half an hour. Mm -hmm. And then we, we went out. We waited for his mom to come, my friend's mom, to pick us up. Mm -hmm. And we went back to his house, and that's when my father called me and told me to go back there. Sadhbir Ji, can you tell us what's going on legally? 
ਲੀਗਲੀ ਕੀ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਅੱਜ ਮੁੰਡੇ ਦੀ ਕੋਰਟ ਹੀਰਿੰਗ ਸੀਗੀ ਜੀ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਮੀਡੀਏਟਰਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਿ ਬੱਚੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਲਾਸਟ 4 ਦਿਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਕਾਲਾਂ ਆ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਵਿਦ ਦੈਟ ਹੋਲ ਕੋਰਟ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੋਗੇ ਇਸ ਬੱਚੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਵੈਂਚੁਅਲੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਬੱਚਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਸਾਂਝੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਡਸ ਮੈਟਰ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੈਗਾ ਜਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੈਗਾ ਬੱਚੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਪਰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਹੈ ਰੂਟ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਦੇ ਦੇਣਾ ਫਿਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਕਿ ਰੂਟ ਕੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਇਹਦੀ ਜੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਕੋਰਟ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਬਸ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਆਪ ਐਗਰੀ ਕਰ ਲਓ ਜਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੋਰਟ ਦੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਚਲੇ ਜਾਓ ਦੋ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਹੈਗੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਇੱਕ ਤਾਂ ਮੀਡੀਏਟਰ ਆ ਸੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਬੈਠ ਜਾਓ ਤੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਖਤਮ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਹੁਣ ਖਤਮ ਤੇ ਗੱਲ ਪਤਾ ਕੀ ਆਂਦੀ ਆ ਅਗਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਖਤਮ ਕਰ ਦਈਏ ਇਸ ਮੁੱਦੇ ਤੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਬੱਚਾ ਤਾਂ ਅਰੈਸਟ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਇੱਕ ਰਾਤ ਲਈ ਜੁਵੇਨਲ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਜੇਲ੍ਹ ਇਟਸ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਰੀਲੀ ਅ ਜੇਲ੍ਹ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਮੋਰ ਫॉर ਰੂਮ ਦੇ ਕੀਪ ਦ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਇਨ ਉਥੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੇ ਸਪੈਂਡ ਕੀਤਾ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਦਿਨ ਰਿਲੀਜ਼ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੋ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਇੰਨਾ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜੋਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਜੋ ਤੂੰ ਕੀਤਾ ਜੀ ਪਰ ਹੋਰ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਅਗਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੈਕ ਡਾਊਨ ਕਰ ਦਈਏ ਕਿ ਕਹੀਏ ਚੱਲ ਯਾਰ ਬੱਚਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਛੱਡੋ ਪਰੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਐ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਬੱਚੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਐ ਇਦਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਕੀ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਕਿ ਰੈਕਰਡ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਏਗਾ ਜੀ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਜੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੰਪਰੋਮਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਮੀਡੀਏਟਰ ਨਾਲ ਬਟ ਅਗਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਂਡ ਤੱਕ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਜੱਜ ਡਿਸਾਈਡ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਪਨਿਸ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਕੀ ਦੇਣੀ ਹੈ ਜੱਜ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਉਹੀ ਪਨਿਸ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਦੇਣੀ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੇਣੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਹਿੰ ਸਾਡੇ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਆਓ ਸਾਡੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਜਾਓ learn sikhism do community service that's the kind of punishment i would like to see ke oh jehda kuch nahi janda ik ta pehla muhammad kehnda hai assi nahi kehnde ke musalmana te attack karo kyunki that sada dharm nahi kehnda ke kise te attack karo par at the same time education di load hai gi jithe you know judi dekhi te kya muhammad right so assi ik do ladaiyan lad rahe hain ik ta hate crimes kise naal nahi hone chahiye ji ਰਾਈਟ ਦੂਸਰੀ ਫਾਈਟ ਹੈਗੀ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਸਿੱਖ ਪਰਸਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਟਰਬਨ ਪਾਨੇ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੱਚੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਜੂੜੀਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਰੇਸ ਕੀਤੇ ਆ ਮੇਰਾ ਛੋਟਾ 3 ਸਾਲ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਹੈਗਾ ਅਗਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੜਾਈ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਇਸ ਮੁੱਦੇ ਤੇ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਬੈਟਰ ਕਰੀਏ ਤੇ ਅਗਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੰਪਰੋਮਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰ ਲਾਂਗੇ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਚੱਲ ਯਾਰ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਆਪੇ ਹੀ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਬੁਲਾ ਲੈਨੇ ਆ ਜੱਜ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਜੱਜ ਨੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਐ ਸਟੈਂਪ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਣੀ ਪੇਪਰਾਂ ਤੇ ਪੇਪਰਾਂ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਸਟੈਂਪ ਲੱਗ ਗਈ ਫਿਰ 18 ਸਾਲ ਤੱਕ ਬੱਚਾ ਅਗਰ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੀ ਮਿਸਟੇਕ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਤੋਂ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਫਿਰ ਜੇਲ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੰਪਰੋਮਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਤਾ ਦੈਨ ਇਟਸ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ Mm-hmm. this this crime does not exist ji ji so othe tak jehdi tusi court di gal kare us mudde te assi is time case bachche na karna ki svere main gal kiti inspector naal main kya dekho ji pehla tusi mainu dasso ke hunde parents ne ki kya tusi i have no interaction with the kid main ta munde nu dekhya vi nahi hunde parents naal vi nahi gal hoyi koi parent di mainu call nahi aayi ke sorry ਰਾਈ ਕੋਈ ਕਾਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਕਾਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਈ ਇਟਸ ਸਰਪ੍ਰਾਈਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਸਾਡਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਕਰੇ ਨਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਕਾਲ ਕਰੀਏ ਕਿ ਮਾਫ ਕਰੋ ਜੀ ਗਲਤੀ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੇ ਗਲਤ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਲਤੀ ਨੂੰ ਛੋੜੋ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਾਪਿਓ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਆਏ ਤੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਗੋਨ ਬਲੋ ਅਪ ਦਿਸ ਮਾਲ ਜਸਟ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਦ ਲੁੱਕ 
ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗਲੀ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹਦੇ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਐਜੂਕੇਟ ਕਰੀਏ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਮਾਈਨੋਰਟੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਟ ਕਰੀਏ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੱਸੋਗੇ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਗਰ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਬਾਹਰ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਏਗੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਪਤਾ ਚੱਲੇਗਾ ਕਿ ਬਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਲੋਕਲ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀਜ਼ ਆ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਇਸ ਦੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਲੋੜ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਸ਼ਾਸ ਨੇ ਜੀ ਨਾਲ ਔਰ ਸਤਬੀਰ ਜੀ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਜਾਰੀ ਰੱਖਾਂਗੇ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟੀ ਜੀ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਦੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖਦੇ ਰਹੋ ਦ ਵੇ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਦ ਵੇ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਇਸ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਫਿਰ ਤੋਂ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਹੋਸਟ ਹਰਜੋਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਤਬੀਰ ਜੀ ਜਦ ਇਹ ਘਟਨਾ ਵਾਪਰੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਬਾਹਰ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਪੜਿਆ ਕਿ ਦੋ ਗਰੁੱਪਸ ਦੀ ਗਰੁੱਪਸ ਆਫ ਟੀਨੇਜਰਸ ਦੀ ਲੜਾਈ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਐਕਟੀਵਿਜ਼ਮ ਦਾ ਸਦਕਾ ਉਹ ਗੱਲ ਉਧਰੋਂ ਚੱਲ ਕੇ ਅੱਜ ਇਸ ਸਟੇਜ ਤੇ ਪਹੁੰਚੀ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਉਸ ਬੱਚੇ ਤੇ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਦੇ ਚਾਰਜਸ ਲੱਗੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸੋਗੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਿਊਅਰਸ ਦੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲਈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਇਹ ਲੜਾਈ ਲੜੀ ਗਈ ਦੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਜਦੋਂ 911 ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਾਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਿੱਧਾ ਗਏ ਚੈਜ਼ ਨੇ ਮੈਂ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਚੈਜ਼ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਜਾਓ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀਗਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਕੋਲੋਂ ਸਾਰੀ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ ਲੈ ਲਓ ਚੈਜ਼ ਹਰ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਹਦਾ ਇਹਦਾ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੇ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਲਿਖੀ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੇ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਕੀ ਲਿਖੀ ਕਿ ਦੋ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੋ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਗਰੁੱਪਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਡਿਸਪਿਊਟ ਹੋਇਆ ਰਾਈਟ ਤੇ ਬਸ ਖਤਮ ਕਰਤੀ ਕੋਈ ਡੀਟੇਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਿਖੀ ਕੋਈ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਕੋਈ ਐ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਕਿ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਹੈ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਕਿਹਾ ਗਿਆ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹ ਦਸ ਨੋਟਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੋਣਾ ਉਹਨੇ ਪਰ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਐਕਚੁਅਲ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਨੇ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਦੋ ਡਿਸਪਿਊਟ ਹੋਈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਜੀ ਹੁਣ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਕਿ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਜਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਕਹਿ ਕੇ ਪਾਵੇਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੋ ਜਾਂ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਹੋ ਜਾਂ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਹੋ ਡਸਨਟ ਮੈਟਰ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸ ਬੇਸ ਤੇ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਿਮੀਨੇਟ ਕਰਕੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਹੇਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਦੈਟਸ ਅ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਹੇਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਤਾਂ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਹੈ ਇਫ ਦੇ ਅਬਿਊਜ਼ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਥ੍ਰੈਟਨ ਯੂ ਵੇਅਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਫੀਲ ਕਰੋ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਕੇਅਰਡ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਹੈ ਆਈ ਨਿਊ ਦੈਟ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਹਰ ਵੇਲੇ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਤੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਰਹਿਣਾ Zoom ਮੀਟਿੰਗਾਂ ਤੇ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਤੇ ਚਾਰ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਹੋਇਆ ਕੀ ਕਿ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਬੱਚੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਇਸ ਐ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਚਲੋ ਜੀ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਦਿਨ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਵਾਲੇ ਨੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਐ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਮੇਰਾ ਦੋ ਆਪਣਾ ਹੀ ਦੋਸਤ ਸੀਗਾ ਉਸੀ ਡਿਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਐ ਦਾ 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 ਲਿਖਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਐ ਤਾਂ ਗਲਤ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਰਾਈਟ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਿੰਗ ਠੀਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਈ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਚਲੋ ਯਾਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਤਾਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਵੀਰ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਰਾਈਟ ਅਵੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੰਟੈਕਟਸ ਦੇ ਥਰੂ NBC ਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਫਿਰ NBC ਦਾ ਰਾਈਟ ਅਵੇ 2 ਘੰਟੇ ਆਇਆ ਚਾ 3 ਵਜੇ ਨੇ ਸਕੂਲ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਆਣਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਪਿਕ ਅਪ ਕੀਤਾ 15 ਮਿੰਟ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ NBC ਤੇ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਕੀਤੀ ਤੇ ਰਾਈਟ ਅਵੇ ਵਾਇਰਲ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਸਾਡੀ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਹੁਣ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਵਾਇਰਲ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਆਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਰ ਪੈ ਗਿਆ ਫਿਰ ਮੈਂ ਕਾਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਦੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਐ ਹੈਗਾ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਰਾਈਟ ਤੇ
ਜਿੰਨੀ ਵੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਦਿਨ ਮੈਂ ਕੁਝ ਨਵਾਂ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਉਸ ਦਿਨ ਹੀ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਦਿਨ ਮੈਂ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਉਸ ਰਾਤ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਿਕਲ ਗਏ ਆਪਣੀ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਫਿਰ ਮਾਪਿਓ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਮਾਪਿਓ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਆਏ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਗਏ ਹੋਣੇ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਦਿਨ ਕੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਆਈ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮਸ ਯੂਨਿਟ ਦੀ ਆਫਟਰ ਐਨਬੀਸੀ ਦੀ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਆ ਗਈ ਰਾਈਟ ਕਿ ਐਟ ਦੈਟ ਦਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਨੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਸੀਗੇ ਕਿ ਕਿੰਨੂ ਕਾਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਡੀਏ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅਗਰ ਇਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਹੋ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਯੂਜ਼ ਇਟ ਅਗੇਨ ਡੋਨਟ ਬੀ ਸਕੇਅਰਡ ਮੈਂ ਕਾਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਹਰ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਕਿ ਐ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਰਾਈਟ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਨਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਆਮ ਗੋਨ ਯੈਲ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਗੋਨ ਗੈਟ ਰੈਲੀਜ਼ ਡਨ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਅ ਸਡਨ ਸਾਰੇ ਔਨ ਬੋਰਡ ਆ ਗਏ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮਸ ਯੂਨਿਟ ਦੀ ਕਾਲ ਆਈ ਕਿ ਵੁਡ ਯੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਚਾਰਜਸ ਰਾਈਟ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਠੀਕ ਲਿਖੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹੁਣ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਟ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਠੀਕ ਲਿਖੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਹੋਣੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੁਝ ਇਦਾਂ ਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਜੋ ਮਰਜ਼ੀ ਕਹੇ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਰੀਲੀ ਫੀਲ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਆਈਡੈਂਟੀਟੀ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸ ਗਾਰਮੈਂਟਸ ਕੇ ਪਗੜੀ ਪਾਈ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਜਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਯੂ نو ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸ ਆਰਟੀਫੈਕਟ ਪਾਇਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਕੋਈ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਮੈਂਟ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸਲੀ ਕਿ ਤੂੰ ਬਿਨ ਲਾਡਨ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਟਰਬਨ ਹੈਡ ਹੈ ਟਾਵਲ ਹੈਡ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮਾਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਫਾਲੋ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਡਰਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ because emotionally agar let's say bachche nu maar da vi na par onnu ghanta chase karda rehnda har jagah bachcha emotionally depressed ho janda hai ke mere naal ho ki reha hai kyon ho reha hai mere naal us time te agar tusi police nu kaho ke hate crimes unit nu call karo that's your right tusi right away police nu kaho ke eh hate crime hai mere naal bring on hate crime investigators eh mistake mere kolon hoyi jehdi main hun janda ਅਗਿਓ ਦੀ ਇਹ ਮਿਸਟੇਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਗਾਡ ਫਰਬਿਟ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਇਦਾਂ ਦਾ ਵਾਪਰਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਪਰ ਅਗਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅਟੈਕ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਫ ਦ ਵੇ ਯੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਔਰ ਯੂਰ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸ ਬੈਕਗਰਾਉਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਨੇਮ ਕਾਲਿੰਗ ਔਰ ਹਿਟਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਰਾਈਡ ਅਵੇ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਕਰੋ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਕਹੋ ਕਿ ਹੇਟ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਯੂਨਿਟ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਕਰੇ ਇਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਗੱਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸੀ ਹੈ ਦੇਖੋ ਸਾਡੇ ਇਸ ਮੁਲਕ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਇਖਤਿਆਰ ਹੈਗੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਪੂਰੀ ਪਾਲਣਾ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਐਕਸਰਸਾਈਜ਼ ਦੋਸ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਗੱਲ ਦੱਸੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਭਈ ਇਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੋਇਆ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਹੈਗਾ 911 ਨੰਬਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਔਰ ਫਿਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਨਸਿਸਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਵਾਪਰਿਆ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਵਾਪਰਿਆ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਪਾਵੇਂ ਲੁੱਕ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਹੋ ਪਾਵੇਂ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਨ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਮਾਇਨੋਰਿਟੀ ਗਰੁੱਪ ਨੂੰ ਬਿਲੋਂਗ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਸੈਕਸ਼ੁਅਲ ਓਰੀਐਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਆਈਡੈਂਟੀਟੀ ਦੀ ਕਰਕੇ ਪਰਸਨਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੇ ਪੈਸੇ ਦੇਣੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਹਨੇ ਕੁਝ ਕਰਤਾ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਏਗਾ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਉਹ ਹਾਰਲਮ ਵਾਲੀ ਗੱਲ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਟੇਜ ਤੇ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕਿਉਂ ਸੀਗਾ ਬਟ ਅਗਰ ਉਹ ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰਡ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਸੀਗਾ ਅਟੈਕ ਕਿ ਬੰਦੇ ਦੀ ਲੁੱਕ ਦੀ ਕਰਕੇ ਔਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅਗਰ ਇਹ ਫੀਲ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅਟੈਕ ਹੈ
ਸੋ ਵਰੀ ਨਾ ਕਰੋ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਡਰਦੇ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਚਲੋ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਾਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਕਾਲ ਅਸ ਕਾਲ ਜਸ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਇਨਫ ਰਿਸੋਰਸਿਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਮੈਂ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਫਾਈਟ ਫॉर ਥਿਸ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਕਰੋ ਤੇ ਕਹੋ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਹੈਲਪ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਐਦਾਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਰਾਈਟ ਪੈਥ ਤੇ ਪਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਸਰ ਵੀਰ ਜੀ ਐਟ ਥਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ ਯੂ ਸਾਡੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਐਸੀ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਐਸੀ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨਸ ਕਾਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਔਰ ਡਿਡ ਐਨੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਮ ਟੂ ਯੋਰ ਹੈਲਪ ਦੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਿਕਸ ਦੀ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਕਾਲ ਆਈ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੋਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਅਪਰੋਚ ਕੀਤਾ ਪੰਜ ਸੱਤ ਦਿਨ ਨਿਕਲ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਜੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਉਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਤੱਕ ਤਾਂ ਚਾਰ ਦਿਨ ਆਚ ਹੀ ਮੈਂ ਅਰੈਸਟ ਕਰਾਤੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਈ ਨਿਊ ਵਾਟ ਆ ਵਾਸ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਬਟ ਆਮ ਨਾਟ ਯੂਰ ਨੋਰਮਲ ਕੇਸ ਅਸੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਨੋਰਮਲ ਜੌਬ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਐਕਟਿਵਿਸਟ ਆ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਿਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਕਦੋਂ ਕਾਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਕਾਲ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨਰ ਨੂੰ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਤੋਂ ਤੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਰੀਚ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਐਵਰੇਜ ਬੰਦਾ ਕੀ ਕਰੇ Hmm. you don't you uh, an average person they don't know what to do so sadi community as a so, organization so hai organization uh, uh, so far jede pr- predominantly that they tadi uh, help karde hai sikh uh, coalition the united six hai Ji. i won't get into too much of detail about those organizations cuz whatever they're doing they're doing good for the community Ji. right but locally locally i i would like to tell just punjabi viewers ke locally tade har state ch tade ek we can't depend on just united six or six coalition to fight every battle mm-hmm. we need to have every state united states ch har state ch ek organization honi chahiye hai jithe help kare community uh, the organization tusi council hi bada lo apne sare gurdware ek state ch ikatthe ho ke keh lo ke eh mudda sada hai ga assi ende te kaam karna hai kuch vi hove sanu contact karo edda karke tusi organizations bada zaruri nahi tusi non profit organization nal hi kaam karna hai ji 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 uh shaz main tonu puchna changa tonu community di kaisi support rahi is is situation ch I've gotten a lot of support from far corners of the community. I've had people not even uh, not even six uh contacting me. I've had people on Instagram, people on TikTok, people on all social media messaging me mm-hmm. and saying, "Hey, are you okay? Do you need us to help in any way?" Mm-hmm. Some some man on TikTok who is uh an activist for minorities, mm-hmm. he made a video on my what happened to me. Mm-hmm. Got hundreds of thousands of views and I personally messaged him and I thanked him and he has told me if there's anything that we could say or do to help you i've got in that case i've gotten a lot of support from yeah. the community you know that's 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 awesome to hear and uh, you know uh, we, we have run out of time here uh, in the closing i i will just I, i'll ask you quickly to tell me uh if if there's a message you have for those kids if you have a message for kids in our community what should they do in, in a situation like this If this ever happens, first of all, if this ever happens to you, you need to immediately get to safety, then call the police and then call your parents. If you don't feel comfortable, if you don't know what's what you should do, call your parents and then call the police. Your parents will always tell you what to do and how to do it right. And, and do you have a message for the kids who did this? A message to the kids who did this people anyone who does this, anyone who targets anyone for what they're different for, or what they stand for or religion they follow what color their skin is you you need to educate yourselves on who these people are who everyone is be inclusive if you see a kid if you see an african american kid at your school in my school there's a it's predominantly white this one african american kid he was left out most of the time this year he was in our classroom we all let him into our friend circle now we're really good friends you got to include these people who are usually excluded from other groups Inclusive. just to make them feel safe and make them cuz they would come to you if anything happens like this sure. to them and it's d- yeah. disgusting that people do I, this i i appreciate closing words 30 closing seconds closing remarks hai ke sare anu na is mudde te bada dhyan dena chahiye because 9/11 to baad assi jehde at least pagdiyan paane ha ਉਨਾ ਤੇ ਅਟੈਕ ਉਦੋਂ ਦੇ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਤਾਲੀਵਾਲ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਅੱਜ ਤੱਕ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਵਾ ਵੀ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਇਸ ਕਮ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਐਂਡ ਥੋੜੀ ਅਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਮੁੱਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਈਏ ਤੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਲੋਕਲ ਸਕੂਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਵੀ ਇਨਵੋਲਵ ਹੋਣ ਬੋਰਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਨਵੋਲਵ ਹੋਣ ਸਕੂਲ ਬੋਰਡ ਅੱਜ ਜਾਓ ਮੀਟਿੰਗਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਓ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਵੋਇਸ ਕਰੋ ਥੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਅਬਾਉਟ
ਮਾਇਨੋਰਿਟੀਜ਼ ਨਾਲ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੀ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਵੀ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਵੀ ਹੋਣਗੀਆਂ ਇਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਤੱਕ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝੀਏ ਔਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰੀਏ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਹਨ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜੀਏ ਔਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਸਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੇਫਟੀ ਮਈਏ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੀ ਸਟਰੀਟਸ ਤੇ ਸੇਫ ਫੀਲ ਕਰਨ ਔਰ ਪ੍ਰਾਊਡਲੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਦਾ ਸਰੂਪ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਫਰਟੇਬਲ ਫੀਲ ਕਰਨ ਸ਼ੈਜ not the best circumstances to have you in the studio but we are very pleased to speak with you thanks for taking the time sabir we are proud of the fight that you have fought thank you so much it it not just helps shaz it it helps the entire community thank you very much for taking the time today uh, thank now you. thank you for letting us come here and voice our opinion on definitely thank you you're most welcome ac sada aaj da show so be there the way forward <laughs>